Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt here, and we're playing Fishing Planet again. Um, and for all you guys, just a little FYI, for all you guys that are looking for Madden, Madden 16, once it comes out next week, actually, not supposed to tell you guys this, but I have my copy coming Friday. Um, I'm going to be playing and recording a bunch of stuff on it, and um, looks like the first big pack opening on Tuesday. Um, stay tuned for that. I'm going to try and do like a $200 pack opening. But anyways, back to Fishing Planet. So today, I'm going to bring you tips and tricks number four. We're back on Emerald Lake. Um, I've had really, really good luck with some trophy fish on this lake lately. Um, I came up here for a three-day trip so far, and um, this is the third day I'm on. Um, I kind of fast-forwarded through it because, like, this is the only day that it wasn't raining. That's the one downfall of this, is it rains a lot. So I'm still rocking my yellow sp uh, spoon. Uh, it's a stop-and-go lure. I'll do a little bit of lures in this, and I'll do a little bit of um, bait fishing. Ooh, there we go. Going on the first cast, dude. I'm telling you guys, this spoon that I'm using, this yellow spoon, it's crazy good. If you, oh, this looks like a pickerel or northern pike. It's crazy, crazy good. Um, I'm in the prime fishing time right now for um, this lake, especially when it's not raining. Um, definitely want to check that out. Always check out your fish map. Um, because that can really mean the difference of you catching trophies or not. Oh, fuck. That, that line, when the line goes, when the line goes red, you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. So anyways, some tips and tricks. Um, definitely rock the spinners. I'm telling you, look at this. First cast with you guys. Trophy grass pickerel. That's 23 XP, and it's almost 17 and a half inches long and 1.3 pounds. It's fucking crazy. I've been leveling up so fast catching these trophies. I've been throwing it right off the, those lily pads. Oh, there we go. Trophy gainer. So I'm going to go back and throw it right off those lily pads again. Let's see if we can get another one. I'll tell you. You just got to get the technique down with a little stop and go, and it just looks right in the water. Oh. It's so, it, I've just been rocking it. And if I'm not using this yellow one, I'm using um, another. Oh, here we go again. See, literally, I've been rocking this yellow one. You have to buy it with coins. It's, I, I mean, it's worth spending the coins, in my opinion, though. I'm just not trying to break it. Got it real slow. Oh. I try to, like, do that little thing to, like, let the slack and then, like, reel the slack in. See, that like, the only way I've been catching them, really. I don't know what this is. Oh, here we go. Uh, looks like a red fin pickerel. Can we rock two trophies back to back? Can we? Can we do it? I'm telling you guys, if it's like this, you guys gotta check out this fucking spoon. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I'll inventory after I catch this fish and show you guys what it is. Look at this trophy red fin pickerel. Two trophies back to back. I'm telling you, it's crazy good. So I'm gonna release that because I can't keep it. Um. Oh, I'm level 6 now. Cool, get more spoons and stuff. So these are the spoons that I use while I'm here, and I also use a jig head. Check this jig head out. It's a silver jig head. Uh, weighs a sixth of an ounce. Um, it tells you it's too light for the thing. Throw the shad on it and jig it along the bottom near lily pads. Oh, I've caught, I hooked into, um, I think it was a four pound walleye, and I've also hooked into um, a two, two pound uh, yellow perch using it it's crazy the bass jig works pretty well on the first area so check that out for the first area i haven't used the spoons for the first area yet because i haven't been able to go back there hopefully in the next video once uh we're done here fishing because it's very expensive to come to emerald lake let me tell you if this was how expensive it was in real life my ass would not be coming to emerald lake here we go let's see if we can go three for three that would be i'd, I'd be so stoked if we did that It's really, really good. This is like the absolute prime time for fishing right now. Sorry if you heard that in, my, in the background. My stepbrother's playing probably like Call of Duty or something. He kind of like flips out randomly. has like these little flip outs like we all do. So anyways, I'm loving this game right now. It's really, really fun. Um, been catching a lot of cool fish. Ah, uh, we didn't go through for three, it's alright. 
So let's see, we're gonna change up the spoon a little bit. Actually, I'll show you guys the jig. So you throw the jig head on there and it says, terminal tackle is too light for the rod, blah, 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 it has to be short, throw the shad on. Works perfect. So I'm gonna right click, then I'm gonna left click, right click and throw it out there. And then pretty much I'm just gonna jig it. You know, you work it like a normal bass jig and it works pretty well. You just want to get it a little, you want to be close to the bottom, but not too far from the middle. It's it's a little bit more labor intensive than a stop and go, but um, definitely check it out. I've been smashing some pretty big fish off of it. Of course, we're not going to catch anything on that cat. Oh, no. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's swap the bait. Alright, so I have like two poles. So I'm able to just go like this. And swap to bait. So I'm going to swap to bait. And let's see what we can catch like right here. So we can catch them. Just to show you guys. I'm showing you guys everything. So that way if you get here and you don't have lures or anything. Um, you can always use bait. Uh, you can still catch trophies with bait. It's a lot harder and a lot rarer to catch trophies with bait. But it is possible. Um... I don't get why the bobbers like that. Probably because it's not touching the bottom. Oh, there's a strike. No way. Bullshit. Alright, so I'm gonna make the length like 20. I love this game. Oh, fuck. You accidentally cast casting out the lily pads. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> So we just gotta wait for something to bite. So yeah, um, pretty much though, this game has been really, really fun. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I see a lot of people watching the videos and I see a lot of good feedback coming from them. Oh, here we're getting some bites. Um, so if you really, really like them, tell me that. Leave a comment, like the video, and I'll keep posting more. Oh, here we go, we got another fish. Hopefully, it's a yellow perch. Nice, see how it's a yellow perch you can catch. All right, release it. I will try. I'll see if we can get something on this side. I my first cast over here. I caught a trophy black crappie, so I kind of be happy if we caught something. Uh, the only problem is on this side that you're seeing right now. I don't know the depths too well. Um, it seems to be like shallow for some reason, like going into the reeds. But a lot of fish hide in these reeds. Um, I've caught I think a few redfin pickerel out of here off this side. And a few, oh, here we go. And a few black crappy, white crappy. I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it's big. Oh, go check. Never mind. Wow. Small fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you guys want a tutorial on how to catch walleye, let me know. I can put one up. It's um, a little bit harder than you think. Um, I'm going to try and put one up on the first area again because now that I have all these spoons and stuff, I'd like to showcase some more spoons, dude. But the... The bass jigs, man. The bass jigs work probably the best on the first area so far. I haven't got to the third area yet, which I don't think you unlock to like level ten. I, I don't honestly know. It's gonna be a little bit of grinding though. <laughs> gonna have to grind them trophy fish. And um, here we go. We're getting some bites already. It's a, a little bit harder to catch fish on Emerald Lake. I won't lie. Um, but it's worth it. Oh, bait was pulled too far. What the fuck? I didn't even touch the bait. Tell me I touched. Yeah, and people are like telling you you need to cast like 205 feet. You don't need to cast that far. Trust me, you can throw a 30 feet out and catch a trophy fish. So don't worry about like the casting stuff. Just um, if you really have any questions, check out my older videos. I really showcase what I use all the time. I use pretty much everything that's like uh, just a little bit upgraded from the starter uh, stuff. So just check that out. Um, it works really well for me. Um, I haven't had any problems. I've broken my line a few times, but like. Oh, is that thunder? Oh, Jesus Christ. Apparently that is thunder. Sorry if you guys hear thunder in the background. We're probably about to get like an intense storm right when I'm doing this live commentary. Uh, hopefully we get another fish here. So anyways, the main fish you're going to catch out of here, it's so nice that you won't catch any bluegill. Let me tell you, it's the nicest feeling in the world not catching a bluegill up here. Um, so you catch gold shiners, 
um, redfin pickerel, grass pickerel, chain pickerel, uh, northern pike, um, black crappie, white crappie, um, yellow perch. Yellow perch is kind of like um, a blue fish, a blue uh, bluegill up here. You catch uh, pumpkin seeds. I got a trophy pumpkin seed right off of uh, these right over here. So if I can catch another pumpkin seed, kind of like right here. Let me tell you though, like this this has a lot of cover over here, and it's so nice. I always keep throwing lures into this. I'll throw my bait, um, the spoons, the jigs, everything just works so well up here. It's really nice. Once you level up, you got to grind for it. But once you level up, it starts getting really, really fun. Um, I haven't got to where I have a boat or anything yet. I don't know really oh, excuse me, anything about boats yet. So once I get to that, you guys will see it. <laughs> Jesus, that thunder's kind of getting intense. The other time, the other day when I was uploading a video, we had the most craziest fucking thunderstorm in the world. I took a video of it on my phone. I was like, this is unbelievable. Like, I was actually in the basement because they started putting up tornado warnings and stuff. I was like, oh shit. Here goes everything. So, that's like enough yellow perch for right now. Let's try, try the red casting spoon. Oh, wait. Never mind. Let's swap to that one. There we go. Let's swap back to rod one. That's nice. Oh yeah, and this is my setup for this rod. So I used a uh, red and silver casting spoon. I have a fishing bag. I really I recommend getting a fishing bag and stuff because it helps you out. Um, I have .005 with 12 mil line. Um, I believe that's just the regular, yeah. I've upgraded the rod. Here we go. I'm going to try getting one real quick here before the thunder gets way too intense. Oh. I hate when it does this. For some reason, there's like a little glitch in the game. Um, I reported it, where you go to like double click to throw it on this on only an Emerald Lake that it happens, and um, for some reason it doesn't work. To it doesn't work like it should. So I uh, sent in a re email request to them, and they got back to me and said that a few other people are having this problem too. Oh, here we go. So it's not just me. And also, as you can see right here, the red spoon works just fine. <laughs> Um, I don't know if that's another one I bought with coins. I don't remember. It's a struggle trying to remember things. I just have I've had a lot on my plate lately. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Please like let me know in the comments below <laughs> if I'm a shitty commentator or a good commentator. Some people think I'm good. Some people think I'm kind of shitty. I guess it just depends on like everyone what personality they like. Whether it's like type A, type B, you know, all that psychology bullshit that I don't give a fuck about. And, um, yeah, I'm excited for Mutt 16, so I hope you guys are ready for it, because it's about to get intense up in this bitch. I'm literally, from day one, dropping $200, so get ready. It's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, hopefully we end it on a trophy. That'd be really nice. It, this feels like a trophy. Yeah, that or it's, like, bigger than the average trophy. Come on. So close. And trophy red fin pickerel, as you see there. So I'm gonna end it on this, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope this tips and tricks with these lures help you. The stop and go is pretty much the way to rock it, and that jig, if you get it, um, I think you gotta be level five or level six to have that jig. I don't really. Know. Oh no, you gotta be level five because I just got level six. So yeah, level five. Once you get level five, you can get a lot of stuff. So um. Check that out, and this has been Matt, and I am out of here.